Ladies and gentlemen from AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction presented in association with Samson Boxing and Mayweather Promotions. Brought to you by Tecate, Limitless Pill, and Twin Peaks. Introducing our judges, scoring from ringside, Don Griffin, Jesse Reyes, and Corey Santos. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a super middleweight special attraction. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner tonight, wearing black trunks with gold trim. Fighting out of Inkster by way of Detroit, Michigan. He weighed in at 168 and one quarter pounds with a record of 24 wins, two losses, and one draw. He has 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the popular super middleweight contender, introducing Jay Leon Love. His opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks, with golden black trim, hailing from Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in at already 167 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a young star of boxing, the hard hitting and undefeated former super middleweight champion of the world, introducing El Bandera Roja. Our referee in charge now to give instructions, Lawrence Cole. All right, David. All right, gentlemen. One of the rules early in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. This is good. This is good. Touch him up. Good luck. David Benavides and Jay Leon Love scheduled for 10 rounds in the super middleweight division. First thing that stands out is how big Benavides is 6'2 for 168 pounder, which is extremely tall. He's got extremely long arms, and he's going to be hard to uh, he's going to be get hard to be hard to get to and penetrate that reach. What sticks out to me is the fact that he's got so many knockouts on his record. That means he's a serious heavy puncher. Yeah, he is. He's got uh, what 20, no, 17 knockouts out of uh, out of 20 fights right now. Benavides fighting for the first time in over a year. His last bout 13 months ago. Love at 24, 2 and 1, 13 by a knockout. Well, Love has already taken the fight to Benavides, uh, and he's he's paying a little price for it. He got hit with the right hand and a couple of hooks along the way. He has a tendency, uh, Jay Leon Love, to drop that left hand, and that will not be smart against somebody like Benavides. Hear that power off that little right hand of the body. You know, Benavides is something of a wonder kid. You know, it's, he turned pro at 17. At 19, he was fighting for a title eliminator, and at 20, he was world champion. It just doesn't go like that normally, you know. Still only 22. Matched up against the 31 year old Jay Leon Love, a Michigan native who now lives in Las Vegas. Now you notice. Benavides really isn't using his reach advantage. He's he's just kind of staying inside of a little shell, puts the earmuffs on right there, keeps the elbows in. He's looking to counter punch because sometimes when you're in there against a guy like uh, J, uh, J. Leon Love, you want to be close so you can touch him back after he touches you like that. So Benavides is trying to play a little bit of a counter puncher role here. See right off of that, let's see he's going to go. And that's what that's the game he's playing right now and. He's throwing a lot of heavy leather. Leon Love is throwing some good body punches. That's yeah. what he needs to do. He's not getting not getting hit yet, but uh, he needs to keep his hands up a little bit higher. Especially well, being in there with a tall guy. Yeah, he's very slick. Oh, he just got See? hurt with a left hook, let me tell you. He's still buzzed. Big left by Benavides. Benavides is really cool right now. He's just tracking Jay Leon Love, and he's hurting him with a right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. Leon Love needs up. to bring his, ha his hands up and his head up. Well, so big flurry by Benavides here in the final minute of round one. Stop, stop. More, 
it's Cole Warren and Benavides about leaning on the back of the head, but you know that's Jay Leon's least of his problems right now. I'm surprised Benavides isn't going after him. He's still hurt. Yeah. Benavides, he's taking his time. He, he, he it's is. okay for him to take his time because he's still in punching distance. Yeah. Another mm. combination from Benavides. And Jay Leon is one tough cookie. He's, you got that out of here. Bob, he walked a really shaky back to that corner. Uh, this side. Breathe right now, okay? Just breathe. Uh -huh. So I'm glad you got that out of your system, but we got to be smart, yeah. okay? Way too many single jabs. When you jab, he covers up and he's just barely pulling. Uh -huh. So we got to close the gap on him a little bit, all right? Okay. You don't got to force it now. He's got your respect. Yeah. Now we go be smart. We got to show him the boxing skills. Other boxing? We boxing him now. Boxing. We boxing, boxing him now. All right. Don't book right now. Box. Hey. Close and close, and close, your eyes. close your eyes. Be smart. Here we're gonna see the amazing reach by Benavides with that right hand over the top. And here he comes with that big left hook. Love never seen that. Here's a combo. Still kind of days. Love is walking back to his corner. So a great start for 22-year-old David Benavides from Phoenix, Arizona. Unbeaten in 20 pro bouts. Jay Leon Love grew up in the Detroit area, trained at Kwon Kim. Daniel Stewart used to take him to Big fights guys as a reward for performing well as an amateur. Well, he is. He, he, you can tell he's a very slick fighter. He's got a lot. He's got a lot of skills. I, I just think he's he engaged too early with Benavides. He should use some of those skills. Use his legs. Use his boxing. Head movement. Try to stay away from the big punches and see if you know he can slow Benavides down with his own punches somehow, like that, and get in and out. Well, you know, when he goes in, he's not getting out far enough because Benavides has long arms and he's catching them on the way in and out. Well, this is his problem sitting on the ropes here. So he, uh, this is the big problem because then it doesn't matter who's got what reach because no, you you're, you're you stuck. So, Box. Jay, Jay Leon has got to be moving. He's got to use his legs. Oh, big right by legs. Benavides. That's it. It was the long arms of Benavides. It, it was a long arm of the law. There's Floyd Mayweather. Love trains at the Mayweather Boxing Club in Las Vegas. But yep. it is David Benavides who maintains his unbeaten record now 21 0. This kid is an amazing fighter. He's going to go a long way to Oh, you think, yeah. Lennox? Let me tell you, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with Benavides. I think, uh, you know, he his little layoff really helped him. It just made him more hungrier. Yeah, right. And like he said, he was sitting back in the background and he was like watching all these people get titles and, and you know, he feels he needs a title too. Yeah, well, you know, he had a title and they took it from him, obviously. But well, he's coming for it yeah, back. You yeah. can tell. He's, he means business. This fight, I'm telling you. He's I one of the best looking prospects I've seen in years. Yeah, really. He, he looks mean, really good. Great. I'm impressed. And you know, the thing is, he's only 22 years old, Lennox. Jay, Jay Leon Love is uh, well, still still a little wobbly over in that corner. Yeah. Well, he got hit with successive punches, one after another. So David Benavides victorious in round two here in Arlington. Look at the champions in the super middleweight division. All of these guys will have a problem with Benavides. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, not one of them would walk away with an easy win against Benavides, if winning at all, to tell you the truth. There's a few names on there right now. I would take Benavides over in a second. His first bout in over a year, and it did not last long as he stops Jay Leon Love in round two. To the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 14 seconds in round number two. Our referee stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated.
el bandera roja David Benavides. Benavides goes to 21 0. 18 via knockout. His last two fights had gone the distance. He landed 15 punches per minute here at Arlington. As we head to the ring, Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. David, you told me throughout this camp, the journey to getting that belt back starts tonight. You most certainly made a, a statement here tonight. Is this how you thought this, the, you thought that this fight would go? Yeah, but uh, first of all, no más le quiero dar las gracias a toda la gente que está aquí. Muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Un saludo a Dallas, Texas. Gracias a todos. Viva, viva México. What's it like fighting in front of this many fans in this stadium? Uh, it's a dream come true, man. Um, I, can, I can't do it without these people. You know, they give me the motivation I need to wake up every day and do what I do and go that extra mile. But uh, it's a dream come true. Did this fight go as you expected it to? I know you said you expect the best Jay Leon Love to show up tonight. Absolutely. I knew it was going to happen. I had to fire. He didn't. You know what I mean? And um, I came in here. I said I was going to look spectac spectacular. That's what I did. But, you know, I seen Anthony Durrell win that title. He can't call himself a champion until he come, come, until he come see me. That's my belt, and we're going to get it again. He's here in the building right now somewhere. Come I think he's here. actually come ringside. Come Is that the fight you want next? I know we've talked a lot about Caleb Plant. He's looking for, for Anthony. What do you want to say to him? I'm going to go get my belt back. I need that belt. That's mine. 